Hi guys, welcome to the next section, Boosting and Ensemble of Ensembles. In this section, we will start with Add a Boost Classifier and Gradient Boosting Classifier. Another part of the section is Ensemble of Ensembles with different types of classifier and bootstrap samples. Now, we move on to the first video of this section that deals with Add a Boost Classifier. In this video, we're going to take a look at algorithm for AdaBoost. We will also see R code for AdaBoost classifier. In bagging, we have taken multiple samples from the training data and then combined the results of individual trees to create a single predictive model. This method runs in parallel as each bootstrap sample does not depend on others. Boosting is another state-of-the-art model that is being used by many data scientists to win so many competitions. Boosting is a general approach that can be applied to many statistical models. Boosting works in a sequential manner and does not involve bootstrap sampling. Instead, each tree is fitted on a modified version of an original data set and finally added up to create a strong classifier. Let's see the sample methodology on how AdaBoost works. Initially, a simple classifier has been fitted on the data, also called a decision stump which splits the data into just two regions and whatever the class is correctly classified will be given less weightage in the next iteration, that is, iteration two and higher weightage for misclassified classes, and again another decision stamp or weak classifier will be fitted on the data and will change the weights again for the next iteration, that is, iteration three. Here, check the minus symbols for which weight has been increased. Once it finishes the iterations, these are combined with weights that is, weights are automatically calculated for each classifier at each iteration based on error rate to come up with a strong classifier, which predicts the classes with surprising accuracy. Let's have a look at the algorithm for AdaBoost. First, we will initialize the observation weights, w to the base i, which is equal to 1 by n, where i is equal to 1, 2 till n, where n is number of observations. Now, for m is equal to 1 to m. We have to fit a classifier gm of times to the training data using weights w base to 1. After that, we will compute error. Then, we will compute alpha base to m. Finally, we will set w base to 1. As the output, we will see g of x. All the observations are given equal weight. We fit a classifier on the data and evaluate overall errors. The error used for calculating weight should be given for that classifier in the final additive model evaluation. The intuitive sense is that the higher weight will be given for the model with fewer errors. Finally, weights for each observation will be updated. Here, weight will be increased for incorrectly classified observations in order to give more focus to the next iterations and weights will be reduced for correctly classified observations. All the weak classifiers are combined with their respective weights to form a strong classifier. This diagram gives us a quick idea on how weights changed in the last iteration compared with the initial iteration. Let us see the code for AdaBoost classifier. First, we will import libraries such as Decision Tree Classifier and AdaBoost Classifier. Decision Stump is used as a base classifier for AdaBoost. Now, we will create DTree. If we observe the command, the depth of the tree remains as 1, which has decision-taking ability only once. In AdaBoost, decision stump are used as a base estimator to fit on the whole data sets and then fits additional copies of the classifier on the same data set up to 5,000 times. The learning rate shrinks the contribution of each classifier by 0.05. There is a trade-off between learning rate and the number of estimators. By carefully choosing a low learning rate, and a long number of estimators, one can converge optimum very much, however, at the expense of computing power. Let's fit the X train and Y train. After that, we will print train confusion matrix for AdaBoost. This is the matrix that you will get. Next, we will display train accuracy. The train accuracy for the given data is 0.938. Next, we will see the train classification report. We will get this report. This is the R code for Adaboost classifier applied on HR attrition data. Let's run it. Now, let's discuss the output. 
This is the summary for Adafit. Next, we will get Train Confusion Matrix, Train Accuracy, and Train Classification Report. After that, Test Confusion Matrix, Test Accuracy, and Test Classification Report is displayed. In this video, we've learned Adaboost Classifier.